Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek Jain and today uh, through this video I am just gonna explain how you can just set up the Glassfish server with the Eclipse of Luna, Luna version of Eclipse. Uh, the problem is with the Luna Eclipse version, uh, you will not get you know the uh, adapter uh, when you will look for the uh, adapter for the Glassfish server. So I will be just I mean explaining how you can get that, right? So let me start with the very basics, you know which you will be requiring to get the Glassfish server zip file. So I have mentioned the link, right? This is the link, https colon slash slash glassfish.java.net download.html. When you will click on this, you will be landed on this page, right? So from here, these are the two zip file, uh, zip, I mean, uh, zip file for the server, right? This is the another one, right? And I have marked this in my, uh, uh, PPT as well right for your reference so you have to click on this any of this this either this or this right I'm just clicking on this right so download will start right so uh, so once you once your download is done then how you how what you will get you will get this zip file I'm just gonna show you that this is the zip file which you will get right so what you have to do is you have to just extract or you have to just unzip this file and then you will get this folder right inside that folder you will have the glassfish pro then you have the glassfish and you have some other folder as well so as since you are just i mean setting up the server so you 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 should not be worried about the rest of the um, folders right so you have already downloaded the uh, zip file of the uh, glassfish uh, server now and you have already unzipped that as well so what you have to do is now you have to go to the eclipse okay so what you need to do you have to click on window then go to the preferences then go to the server once you expand the server you will get the runtime environment here you will see that i have already installed right or set up the tomcat i mean server so since we want to you know to add the glassfish server that is the new server for our for my eclipse so just click on add here you will get all the by default adapter right so in luna since i mean my eclipse is the Luna version, right? So, this glass fish. I mean, it you will not get this glass fish. Why? When you will start getting this glass fish, you have to, you know, uh, install the glass fish tool. So, how are you gonna do it? That I will tell you. So, uh, when I was when uh, when my Eclipse was not having, you know, the glass fish. I mean, to install. So, I was not getting. I mean, this in, in this adapter i mean adapter information so i was just getting the apache and the basics and the object view glass which was missing so what i did is i just click on the download additional right let me just go to the uh, okay right so uh, when you just click on that uh, link and you will get this right so you see i mean here you will not get the glassfish right so you what you have to do you have to install the glassfish tool so for doing that what you need to do is you have to just you know uh, what you have to do just cancel it out because you are not getting the glassfish adapter what you have to do is you, go to, you have to go to the help go to the eclipse marketplace right now what will happen when you will go to the market right here you have we have already clicked the Eclipse Marketplace. Now you will uh, you will be prompted to the search, right? So what what you have to do is in search button there is a find box, right? So here I mean it's just opening. What you have to do in this find button find right? So you have to just put the class fish. Fish. And just click on the search button. Then you will get the glassfish tool uh, tools related information from you from where you can just I mean, install this since I have already installed this I am just getting the install I am not the update button is disabled for me since I have already uploaded that and there is no update for me because just I mean yesterday I have just installed this so you will get the install like I mean here for as it the tools 1.3.2 you are getting the install button similarly you will get for the glass tool so the moment you will click on this it will be installing the glass fish related tools right once the installation is done successfully you need to restart the eclipse and once you are done once you i mean restart the eclipse successfully and again if you will go for the preference right 
server then the runtime environment click on add right then you will get the glass fish over here right so what you have to do you have to just click on this you will get the glass fish 3.1 and the glass fish 4 what you have to do is just click on the glass fish 4 right and click next it is taking a little bit of time for me i don't know why so you know uh, till the time i mean that is opening what i can uh, show you something till the time it's getting uploaded right uh, again i mean that is what the step which i was explaining i mean if you want you can just take a pause of that video and you can just go through all these steps uh, whatever i am explaining i have just put it in this ppt so it would be a reference point for you if you are not you know able to follow along with my video right so here you will you will be prompted to this i mean just you can give any name over here and in server what you have to do where you have unzipped your i mean uh, class with server setup you have to go to that place so i have just unzipped that downloaded i mean glass fish server here in abishi and this is the software and here is my glass fish 4 and here is this glass so you have to just ensure you have to just check you have to just select the glass fish right and you have to click the ok button over here right here right i mean the catch over here is uh, usually what happens is people just select the jre 1.80.45 i mean usually people i mean click here the you know the installed runtime environment but for the but for you know to set up the class with 4 you would be requiring the jdk 1.80 underscore 45 right so make sure uh, your development kit is you know directly route directly routed for this right uh, then put the next word done it's a little slow today i don't know why maybe i have installed a lot of you know the software on my I mean, machine so here there is no need to do anything admin name is admin password is blank just press finish right so you can see the glass which has been added successfully now need we need to check whether it is installed successfully or not <coughs> So since I, I am in a Java, let me just click on the Java EE where we can see you know the server. No, no. Now we can see in the server we can see the class fish 4 and localhost. Click on this, press the start button. Ah, the important fact which I just didn't mention in my video earlier. I mean to just set up the server, I believe I mean you know that you should have you know the enterprise version of the Java, right? It should not be the eclipse of simple Java applications, right? So it should be the enterprise uh, version of the eclipse. So it's getting started, right? And you are done. So, uh, but uh, I want to highlight one small point over here. Uh, for how you will you know if you how you will set up the JDK so I think I mean it's working fine the starting synchronize I mean not not yet started so how you can do that let me just uh, explain that as well so you have to what you have to do is mm, okay what I was explaining JDK okay so just just uh, i think it has been started okay let me just check whether it's working fine or not okay seems like okay so it has been started let me just check whether it's working fine or not so how can i do that mm -hmm. So let's see what happens. If my server is running fine, then I should get you know the response of that HTML. The browser. Oh, 
welcome to test man and it means working fine so that's it uh, if you have any question regarding this i believe i mean you will get stuck when you have to you know if gre is the default runtime i mean environment for you in the eclair then definitely you will get stuck.